Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Weight Watcher, Cape Cod woman, and Pearls of Wisdom and Food. And it's mid-October, and I'm waiting for my video of the day to upload. I have a vacation day today. It's wonderful. And I've got my bulletproof coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm. Lots of delicious froth. <coughs> If any of you are having bulletproof coffees, then you know what I mean about the froth. <laughs> Although you need an immersion blender to create the froth, but it is yummy. So I was trying to think of a topic today. <clears throat> I'm still, now this is the same week that Oprah and Weight Watcher joined hands, and so it's all kind of exciting. And I watched the um, business news station and pretty much Google business news to kind of keep um, up on trends and things like that and um, loving my food loving my money issues or I don't love my money issues but you know what I mean um, trying to stay on top of uh, how to keep what I got and spend what I got wisely and things like that I just had a naked weigh in and <clears throat> I do weigh the same on the two scales that I weighed uh, last th Friday, because I do my naked weigh-ins Thursday and Friday, and this is being taped on Thursday, so I'm happy about that. And um, after being on Weight Watchers for about 16 months and doing the point system, and um, had great success at it, I decided to go to the high-fat, low-carb uh, food plan, and I have a bulletproof um, roadmap poster that um, keeps me keeps me disciplined and and targeted for the day I will tell you something somebody was asking about time management the other day it was either Heather or Rebecca I think it was Rebecca <coughs> excuse me and she said um, you never really talk about time management anymore and how does how do you do it and how do you figure it out well this is just my journey, so this is all I can talk about. But after and since going to this high-fat, low-carb uh, food plan, things have gotten easier. And there's still time-consuming parts, like doing bulletproof coffees and packing lunches and planning dinners. But it's gotten enormously more simple. The shopping is more simple. Um, you know, granted, I have the same things to eat a lot of the days, but I guess because I'm satiated, I'm okay with that. Kind of interesting. So, um, one of the things, I help a couple of women that have some money issues. And so we meet on a monthly basis. And it's called a pressure relief meeting. And part of uh, the seed of that comes from Debtors Anonymous, where they have pressure relief, where you meet with two members from that meeting, and you just kind of deal with um, your mess as it is at the moment, and how to just find some relief. You know, the pressure of money is not unlike the pressure of weight, and it's kind of shame-based in a way, and it's kind of um, personal and very, very private, and like a lot of us, our weight shows um, easier on our body than a money issue might. And in fact, it could be the exact opposite if you're abusing what money you have, or I should say, what credit you have, right? And so if you've been um, abusing your credit cards and kind of looking, or home equity loan, or, and kind of looking like you're living larger than you are, um, you might look like you're living la vida loca. And even if you um, have more weight on you than you're happy with, you can buy some pretty snappy things, some good jewelry, hair, nails, makeup, all that kind of stuff, and present as a finished product with no problem here. And I witness and observe quite a few women at 12-step meetings that want to give you the appearance that they are to the manner born. I love that phrase. And um, even though they have some excess weight, 
that this is all this is all quite okay with them but I've never really met a woman that is quite okay with it and yes I've watched some of those big beautiful women um, shows like Dr. Phil and other places where they're proud of what they are and it doesn't bother them that they weigh more than they should but for most of us you know at the end of the day or the beginning of the day or the doctor weigh-in day after a few months or a year we are affected by what we weigh and we do want to make a change and we don't know where to turn or what to do and so there there come these turning points in our lives and most of them most of them have been had by all of you that are here right because we're not here because we're um, we don't have a problem with it and as you know if you've lost weight and you're on maintenance the slog continues now maybe the mud level is down and the mud isn't thigh high and it's only calf high but it continues and we need to be ever vigilant in whatever program we're doing and we don't want to be bored and we want to be very careful to have the structure and discipline so um, we're portable right I mean isn't that one of the goals is that we can take us with us <laughs> to places that we have to go and know that we're safe and some of us um, some of us stay safe by um, traveling with extra bags wherever we go I'm one of them and in my bag there was always a container of Xyla there is always a container of coconut oil and a measuring spoon. There is always a container of, um, what's the other thing that I always carry? Nuts. There's always a container of nuts. And there's always a container of almond butter. And maybe these things sound kind of weird to you. But they are in case of an emergency. So no matter where I am, I have the safety of knowing none of those things need to be refrigerated none of those things need to be heated up so for me having a portable item that is that's my version of a grab-and-go so I'm not going to end up someplace where like say I'm dying for a cup of coffee not a bulletproof cup but another one I've got my Xyla and if I can't have my heavy cream in my coffee or my butter or my coconut oil, I could still have my Xyla and my coconut oil in a black coffee and be okay and still get that satiated feeling that I that I've come used to, become used to with my um, bulletproof coffee breaks or my bulletproof coffee in the morning and then my um, cocoa later. And so um, for those of you that are still on the Weight Watchers Counting Points system, you know, I, of course I totally respect that because I did it for 16 months and I had my, the bulk of my weight go away. Um, but we need to bulletproof ourselves. We need to take care of ourselves so wherever we go, we are safe. And um, maybe part of the reason I'm saying that is today, or not today, um, a couple of days from now on Saturday, I go to a uh, bridal shower for somebody that's getting married on New Year's Eve. Now there's a good reason for a new dress, right? And so um, <laughs> there's no humor lost, right Dorothy? It is called the Pasta House where it's being held. And I did go onto their menu and they do have gluten-free options. So I'm hoping that I can do something. Um, the better bad choice would be a gluten-free pasta. Um, the best choice would be some sort of salad with a protein and maybe some cheese on it something like that and olive oil um, so I will take my perhaps arsenal of um, olive oil and um, crumbled blue cheese because I can put that on romaine anywhere and be totally happy with that as a meal but if they do have gluten-free pasta it will be a rare and appropriate time because if I'm driving 60 miles um, to a shower. I'm not going to be going to this place again soon, so I will treat myself to something rare and appropriate. Um, 
just like if I had to go to a pancake house, I would look for the gluten-free item and consider that a rare and appropriate moment. So, in my time management, I am finding that the food plan that I'm doing is enormously more simple. And I don't know if that's because I'm happy with, um, with doing what I'm doing, but I do like it simplified. And guess what? I've got more time. And when I've got more time, I'm much more at peace. And my home is neater and it's more picked up on a regular basis. And I don't feel that pressure. And I don't know about you, but excuse me, I, I sometimes feel pressure about shopping, about cooking, about cleaning, and about like sometimes when I walk into my closet, and I have a great big closet that Greg built, so I'm very, very lucky. I can walk in and become overwhelmed because I see the projects, right? I see the projects of, um, you know, the hoarding of the food and the hoarding of the clothes in the just-in-case department. And when will I feel safe enough to um, trust that I will keep this weight for a while and I will not go back to having processed foods and um, big boxes of cereal with refined grains and things like that. And so those things weigh on me. Even, even just a quick snapshot of a visual of the old food or the old clothes. And there's this whole nanosecond thing, and I don't know if any of you go through this, of like, oh, that's right, I promised myself I would go through my clothes. Oh, that's right, I promised I would deal with this shelf today. Well, I'm kind of doing it. And that, you know, it takes time to do it. Of course, but the freedom that I am feeling when I tackle each little either food or clothing item, because both go right along with my weight, right along with my head, right along with any pressure that I feel. And so I work in a homeless shelter for women. I do not donate my clothes to them. And this is because what I'm donating are of a certain size. And so there are women there, and at the time, we have six pregnant women, so none of them would fit into my clothes anyway. And then the rest that are there, they, um, a couple of them, or a few of them are too big to fit into even my largest size clothes. And so it would look like that couple of people got my windfall of clothes and that it just doesn't feel ethical to me. So I donate them to Salvation Army. And I do take that tax write-off. So I will, I, I've been washing and uh, laundering, and, you know, the clothes, and then um, noting them on the tax-deductible form and filling bags. And yesterday I brought two bags to them. And today I've started another bag. And so along with my body that's gotten thin, my closets are getting thinner. My um, food pantry is getting thinner. Um, as you saw, I worked on my fridge downstairs, and that got definitely thinner when I can see the back. But I still have uh, areas that, like when I open up the downstairs uh, Florida ceiling freezer, things fall out. So I definitely have to work on that. And they're good things. They're good things that, you know, they're like the frozen organic veggies. And um, what other things? Well, other things that, oh, meat. And um, so, you know, they will be eaten, but I tend to have hoarded them through the summer, like with the farmer's market and the um, grass-fed beef and then the, um, uh, the organic farm with the grass-fed heritage pork. And so, as I open the freezer, this stuff falls out. I do donate food, though, and most of my Weight Watcher ice cream novelties have gone to my job and the women love them and that feels good. Um, so anyway, for time management I am finding that less is more and it frees me up and um, I love shedding a little bit. Now, Greg um, 
has a business and um, in that business you require things plus we're both landlords of different properties and so over the years he saves things because you never know when you might need one of those things well I came home one day and there was one of those containers you know that rubbish container that you see at job sites where they just you can throw out anything and they take it and he ordered one because he got sick and tired of his stuff you know that Sanford and Son thing that's outside and even though it's in a contained area I guess it got to him and that's great and it's kind of like how um, the fridge downstairs got to me or my clothes are getting to me and so um, a vacation day for me is a perfect day to grab a green bag grab the Salvation Army thing and go and do it and I also have a bag for a, um, a pantry a food pantry at a church and I'm going to look it up online. This is my commitment to you. And I do believe they're open on Friday. So I will fill it with the food that I want to bring. And I can bring that tomorrow because it's another day off. And so in the less is more um, department with clothing and hoarded food, I am feeling a lot freer. And my list is shorter when I go to the store. You know, when I go to Whole Foods, it's, it's raw cheese. It's heavy cream. And yes, unfortunately, I've been buying the organic heavy cream, but I didn't realize it had the carrageenan in it. And so um, I'm going to look for something that doesn't have it, but this might end up being one of those better bad choices if I can't find one. And I figured, well, the organic, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. So anyway, when I go to Whole Foods, <clears throat> it's free-range eggs because um, I'm looking for the pastured eggs. And pastured eggs are more important than organic eggs, right? I get my coconut oil online, so I don't need that. I have plenty of almond butter. So I'm picking up a thing of cream, a thing of um, Carrie's butter for my bulletproof coffee, um, some heavy cream, um, pasteurized cheese, I mean um, raw cheese, and um, a couple of things for Greg. I've got plenty of organic frozen veggies. And I'm good to go. I've got plenty of organic romaine lettuce, and I'm good to go. And as far as berry goes, Greg gets the organic berries on Saturday that lasts a week. So there's definitely a lot less that I'm bringing into the house. I buy um, grass-fed uh, ground beef, grass-fed uh, beef, and um, those things last, you know, quite a few days. So it's definitely, and then a couple of pieces of like wild, either swordfish or haddock or something like that, cod, and um, spaghetti squash for the pasta nights. And so my life has become more simple, and with more simple comes better time management. And it's an amazing thing. when I. So I guess when I walk into my big closet, instead of seeing what needs to be done, and I think that could be the key, needing to be done, I know that it is being done. And that is a really comforting feeling inside of me. Not unlike using the Weight Watcher Tracker and knowing that my food plan is in place. My points are in, you know, in the range that they need to be in. And I know that I got that comforting feeling when I did my points. And so now I'm not doing points, but I am doing the roadmap and I know what I have to eat. And so it's, a, it's pretty regular. It's pretty same, same. The changes might be the veggie, but um, I'm having a pretty standardized food plan and I like it a lot. And I can add the rare and appropriate as I go. Like last week, I had gluten-free um, pumpkin waffles from Whole Foods. I think they're Vans. And, um, and I had my maple syrup. And I had it in a contained way because on the Bulletproof, um, you know, you still have to watch your starches and, so, um, and your sugars. And maple syrup is on his list. It is on the... It is on the um, close to suspect part of his, um, so suspect comes right after bulletproof. 
and so it's in the next tier. So to me, a suspect item on the bulletproof poster is a better bad choice. It's not necessarily clean, it's part of the rare and appropriate family. And so um, when I had that uh, gluten-free uh, waffle and the um, organic maple syrup, it was a better bad choice for sure. But it was rare and appropriate, and I didn't crave it the next day. Um, last night after my spaghetti squash dinner, I had two squares of dark chocolate. And um, that, that took care of that need of the beef in the pasta sauce have to have a, a sugar. And a couple of you commented about that on my Facebook page. Oh, yeah, me too. After I have beef, I always want sugar. And I thought that was just my own little body. But isn't it great when we can identify with somebody and say, Oh, I've always had that quirk inside of me. Well, anyway, somehow I've gotten to 21 minutes with not much to say about anything. So <clears throat> this is kind of about time management, hoarding of both food and the old clothes, and how freeing it feels to know that the green bags of uh, either item are going out of the house and being put to a good cause. And this is the time of year that I like to do that because then it's just, then I don't get overwhelmed with the um, holiday time and which always overwhelms me, always. And I have simplified to beat the band. You would think this was a Jewish house if you drove by it <laughs> because I simplified and that's what works for me. So if people don't like my simplifying, um, I'm sorry, but, you know, I spend my time where I need to spend it. I'm 65. I'm pulling the card. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you the next time. This has been Sarah. Bye-bye for now.